Number nine, giant Amazon leech. Let's start out with something truly scary, something that looks just repulsive and nasty. Leeches are a species of creature that most people know to avoid, but when it comes to classifying and categorizing these creepy animals, there are few more dangerous and unsettling than the giant Amazon leech. Yes, it's true. This leech is truly a giant and is one of the world's largest. It can grow up to 17.7 inches in length and be 4 inches wide. That size is enough to give you pause before you remember that it's also a parasitic organism. These guys will latch onto your body and won't let go unless you have the ability to conduct a proper removal technique. And let's be honest here, you don't want to give this thing a chance to latch onto you. One of the main ironies of the giant Amazon leech was that in the late 1800s, it was thought to be extinct. Then, some more were found, and one was brought to a university. Scientists named the leech Grandma Moses and studied it closely. They even helped breed it to repopulate the species, which was incredibly successful. The leech gave birth to 750 children. Now it's back, and to be frank, you definitely don't want to mess with this leech, ever. Number 8. Nile Crocodile there are multiple alligators and crocodiles that people should fear in the world, but one of the most bloodthirsty and powerful crocs around is none other than the infamous Nile crocodile. Known as the largest freshwater predator in Africa, the Nile crocodile is one that has gotten attention for being a premier apex predator and having a bite force that is truly horrifying. For example, if we were to assume that the great white shark has 4,000 psi of bite force in one crunch of its jaws, as many suspect, the Nile crocodile still beats it. That's right, this croc has 5,000 psi of bite strength, and that number alone makes it worthy enough to be considered one of nature's most deadly killing machines. The Nile crocodile is known to be a man-eater and has killed hundreds, if not thousands, of humans every single year. So anyone in that region where it lives needs to be aware of the danger they face if they ever get too close to the water, and that's a part of life some of us might never be able to cope with. Plus, remember, it doesn't just live in water and passively sit for foolish humans or animals to get too close. It actively seeks out victims. It uses stealth to sneak up towards prey and then kill them before they can react. That's a smart predator, and one that will kill you if you let it. Number 7. Bull Shark Sharks. You know them, you fear them, and many people stay away from oceans because of the potential threat of them. And some of you out there might be thinking, but sharks don't live in rivers, right? Wrong. Certain sharks, like the bull shark, are able to live in both saltwater and freshwater. This even includes places like Australia, as well as the Amazon River, where attacks have been recorded in countries like Peru. While great white sharks are the most feared shark because of movie interpretations of them, the bull shark is said to be an even more fatal shark, with over 27% of their attacks on humans being fatal. And yes, that is more than the great white. Plus, since it's hard to distinguish the bull shark from other types of sharks due to its coloring and size, it's possible that they're even more deadly to humans than we realize. So best not to risk tangling with one. It's also important to mention that bull sharks are overly aggressive and unpredictable. They'll take any slight indignation as a reason to lash out, which is why so many people have been hurt by them. And if you're still doubting how inland these fierce predators can go, one bull shark was found in Illinois, that's 700 miles away from the closest ocean. Do you know anyone who was involved in a shark attack? What happened? Did they survive? Tell me about their story in the comments section below. Then remember to subscribe to The Biggest, if you haven't already, for more incredible stories just like this one. Number 6. Poison Dart Frog 
Frogs themselves aren't known to be poisonous, but the exceptions, like the poison dart frog, are the ones you need to be afraid of, especially if you're near the wrong body of water. The frog was originally found in Colombia, and quickly made a name for itself by killing all that it touches. It excretes numerous kinds of poison via its skin, one of them being tetrodotoxin. What might surprise you though is that while humans may not recognize the poison dart frog on sight, its predators most certainly do. The frogs color their body to be a warning sign to predators looking for a meal. The frog and its poison soon became very famous in the regions it resides in. To the extent that tribes realized the potency of the poison that the frogs had and would kill them and use the toxins on blow dart guns for hunting and other activities. Imagine invading the wrong area and being attacked by toxic darts from tribesmen hiding in the trees. That's been the fate of more than a few foolish European explorers over the centuries. A single poison dart frog has enough poison within it to kill 20,000 mice. So imagine how many humans it can kill. So if you're near that area, be sure to look up this frog and recognize it so that you don't touch it and die. Number five, alligator snapping turtle. When you think about a turtle, one of the last things you'd ever think is that one of their species is deadly. But there are exceptions to that rule and the alligator snapping turtle is one such example. Located in the southeastern region of the United States, these are big turtles and the largest specimen was even said to weigh 400 pounds. Plus, the reason they're called alligator snapping turtles is that they're a bit more aggressive than your standard turtle. They can even pierce metal with their powerful bite. Think about that for a minute. This is a turtle that can pierce metal with a single bite. It could bite through the bottom of your boat if you're not careful. I wouldn't try to aggravate it, even from the safe perch of a flat bottom fishing boat. Granted, these turtles are not known for attacking humans, but they are still ones not to be provoked. Again, they can pierce metal, which means they're more than strong enough to get through a human body, even if you are wearing protective bite-proof gear. It will cut through your bones like a twig. Test out that theory at your own risk. One time, a lake in southern Germany was drained to find a turtle, which snapped at a boy who was swimming by, snapping his tendon in the process. He survived, but if this was in the neck or any other major artery, then the boy wouldn't have been so fortunate. Turtles as a whole may not be incredibly dangerous, but this one? Yeah, this one is very dangerous. Number four, green anaconda. Not all river or lake monsters are fish or other aquatic creatures. There are some more land-based animals that you need to fear as well, such as the green anaconda. The average size of the snake can vary at times. It'll be between 18 and 20 feet. But at its maximum, this anaconda can be up to 27 feet long. Weight-wise, they can carry around 550 pounds on them. But what surprises many people is that they live in rivers and swamps in South America, including the Amazon which means they have a wide range in terms of hunting that can make them very dangerous to unsuspecting prey. It's true they aren't known to eat humans, but that doesn't mean they won't kill them if the need arises. What's intimidating about them, though, is that green anacondas are ambush predators, meaning they wait for prey to come to them and then strike. Usually they attack by wrapping their bodies around their prey and squeezing them to death. They like to be on the shallower waters of the Amazon River and other bodies of water. This allows them to sneak up on prey even easier as they'll blend into the water without much effort. All the more reason to be very careful around certain bodies of water as you never know what might be lurking within. Number three, electric eel. Despite its name, the electric eel is a type of knife fish. The reason it's so dangerous is said right in the name. The electric eel has not one, but three different organs in its body that can produce an electric charge. When it releases said charge, it can either stun or kill its prey. It has such a powerful electric charge that it can truly kill an adult human instantly in certain cases. 
That's due to it being able to discharge people with 500 volts of electricity. It should be stated for the record that while it can kill humans, it's usually because said humans are in the water when the electric eel strikes, and the waters help amplify the electricity's power. Fortunately for travelers, the electric eel only resides in the Amazon River and the Orinoco River in South America. But it's also stated to be one of the deadliest creatures that live in that area because of its electric power. Due to how its body is long and fluid, you likely won't even notice that the electric eel is near you before it's potentially too late. So why aren't there more death by eel stories? Because these creatures don't seek out humans. Most times, the humans accidentally interact with them, and the fish reacts out of self-defense. Number 2. Piranha Yep, you likely knew this creature was coming, and there's no blame for already having a deep fear of it, because the piranha is a terrifying creature to behold. It's known for its razor-sharp teeth that can bite through nearly any living thing. They usually swim in swarms, and so when they eat, they will come together to literally pick the bones clean. It also doesn't help that they're known to be very aggressive fish when it comes to getting their food. Something that people forget is that piranha at times can get up to two feet in length. And with that size of fish, multiplied by a swarm, yeah, you can understand why they only leave the bones behind. For the record, piranhas don't openly attack humans. They'll bite them, sure, but they don't usually eat humans for a zeric They'll bite them, sure, but they don't usually eat humans for a very simple reason. They're not usually worthy to be eaten. Piranha prefer prey that is weak in various ways. It makes them easier to consume, and it helps ensure that the swarm all gets to eat. A human can get out of the water if they're conscious, and thus they don't make the best meals. Piranhas are very well organized. They signal to each other when prey is weak, and thus go to town on their bodies. The sight of it must be very unsettling to an onlooker. And that's why there have been many legends, stories, and B-grade horror movies made about the piranha, because they're truly the fish that nightmares are made of. Number 1. Saltwater Crocodile Now, we all know that the Nile crocodile is literally known as a man-eater, but there is a crocodile bigger than that and arguably more feared than even the Nile crocodile, and that would be the saltwater crocodile. And it definitely deserves to be even more feared than its cousin. The saltwater crocodile is able to grow over 20 feet in length. The croc known as Lolong was not only over 20 feet long, but weighed nearly 2,400 pounds. This crocodile was so heavy that it took over 100 people to wrangle it in when the time came to catch it. And trust them when they say it was not an easy thing to catch, even with that many people trying to hold it down. This croc is so powerful that it can apparently take on any other animal in its territory without breaking a sweat, even if it's a shark. Plus, not unlike the Nile crocodile, the saltwater crocodile is known for going after humans and eating them. It's even said that if direct contact is made with this croc by a human, there's no chance of the human surviving. That's something all of us should be very glad we never have to go and test. Thanks for watching. Are you shocked that so many dangerous creatures live in the waters of the world next to people? Which of these animals would you particularly not want to go and deal with? Or do you know another animal that should be on this list? Let me know in the comments below, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time, right here on The Biggest.